guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com, and today we have a pretty cool unboxing of the Futaba 3PV. Now this is their entry level 2.4 gigahertz three plus one channel radio system. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the 3PV, and also this is intended for my budget series, the 1.8 scale Hobeo four wheel drive buggy. This thing should be a pretty cool addition to almost anyone's rig, and it's gonna give you some bells and whistles over those standard RTR radios. And also later in this video, we're gonna be comparing the 3PV to its bigger brother, the 4PV, and show you just some of the brief differences between the two. Quickly looking at some of the features of the 3PV, this is the 2.4 gigahertz telemetry system. This does have steering and throttle exponentials, does have steering dual rates, ABS, 10 model memory, four character model name, mixing for four wheel steer and brake, fail safe, and it has a super light body. A quick look at the model number, but as always, down in the video description, I'll have a link so you can check it out for yourself. Inside the box, you do get a few items, including an owner's manual for the 3PV, small little adjustment tool, and you do get a Futaba receiver. This is the R203GF, three channel receiver, 2.4 gigahertz, and the S. FHSS technology. Taking a look at the Futaba 3PV, you can really tell that it is kind of like a trickle down technology from some of the upper line radios like the 4PV. You're getting a really good wheel right here and the foam on it is just so nice. It's nice to have not only a new foam, but one that is made from some quality materials. You can really feel the grip of this wheel right here. Taking a quick tour around the 3PV, we're noticing for First off, you do have a small little LCD display. It is black and white only, and it is about two inches in diagonal. You do have switches on the top up here for the power, and you do have some directional and like a command button to get through some of the setups. Moving to the side, you do have trim levels for channel one, channel two, channel three, and you do have that plus one channel switch right there. On the front of it, you get kind of like a small shark fin antenna that's non-collapsible. It's only about an inch in height and doesn't go over the actual screen area here. So it's very minimal and it should provide some great connectivity to your vehicle. The three PV operates on four AA batteries, but like with all Futaba remotes, you can remove that out and actually put in a lifey battery or lithium polymer and still have some good long runs with this 3PV. Firing up the 3PV, you just hit the power button, immediately comes to life, tells you of course it is the 3PV, and gives you the voltage of the batteries that I have down in the base of the unit. Now you see all different sorts of menus up here, and you can basically scroll through them as you hit the right and left buttons. Bringing in the 4PV, the big brother over here to the right, you can really see the big differences. Now, Futaba classifies the 3PV as an upgrade to an RTR remote. Now, of course, the 4PV is going to be a mid to high-end radio, and the price reflects that according to all of the different features and benefits you do get from the 4PV here. Now, price-wise, and I'll have links in the video description so you can check it out for yourself, but about 109 on the 3PV, the 4PV steps up to about $279. Well guys, that is my quick look and unboxing of the Futaba 3PV. I think this is a great upgrade for anyone that has an RTR remote and maybe it's not functioning the way you want it. This thing will give you some good quality connectivity to your vehicle, give you some additional programming that your stock or RTR radio doesn't have and it won't hurt your pocket too much. So about 109 bucks, like I said, and I'll have a link in the video description so you can check it out for yourself. Well guys, that is it for now. If you have any comments or questions about this, item feel free to post it on down below and as always thumbs up and subscribe that's it for now guys over and out